Hey there everyone, um, here's a video on how to stream on Beam. This is for all the Grotopians that need to stream on Beam and want to stream on Beam. So if you want to stream on Beam, let me show you how. Alright, first we're going to go here, settings on OBS. First you have to get Open Broadcaster Software. Okay. Open Broadcaster Software. Go to settings right here. Now the settings drop down. Go to broadcast settings. Okay. Here's broadcast settings. All right. Here's the um, change this to custom. Okay. Not Twitch. None of these. Just to custom. Now see the FMS URL. Here's the FMS URL. Okay. And um, this right here. Hold on. Let me X out this real quick. I thought I paused this thing. Thought I paused it. Okay. Let me go back to OBS. All right. You go over here, and here's a stream key. You can't show it to anyone. That's why it's blacked out because you can't show it to no one. Do not show it to no one, or else anyone can stream on your channel. Um, to get these two things right here on Beam, you do custom. Do these things right here. And I'll show you I'll show you how to get these two, okay? So now let's get out of here. Let's go to Beam. Alright, what you're gonna do is you're gonna come to your channel, your channel page, your main page, if you're streaming or you're not streaming, okay? And um like you're gonna come here, you're gonna go to you're gonna click on your icon over here on the right hand side, upper right hand side. Then you're gonna go to hub. See hub, H U B, go to hub. Then, you're going to come over here. This is going to tell you how much subscribers, followers, and streamers you follow. It's going to also tell you level and how much XP to your next level and how much sparks you have. Sparks you can use in interactive streams. You can also make a team by doing with 5,000. Here, go to, um, here's GoPro. You can buy Pro, like it's a Beam Pro. Or you can set up the stream. Go to set up the stream. Okay. Now, how do you want to stream? Don't do this one right here. Don't do FTL because that's for interactive streams. That's, re that's recommended for interactive streams. You don't want to do that one, okay? You want to do this one. I'm not going to click this because it's going to show my stream key and everything. And I don't want you guys to see my stream key because then you'll then I have to reset it. Um, so what, what you're going to do is how do you want to stream? You're going to go RTMP, recommended for most streams. Easy to set up, 2-5 to five second stream delay, and stable. It's stable, okay? You're going to go here. You're going to click Use RTMP, okay? And then it's going to bring up a like a, another screen. And what you're going to do, you're going to copy. The first one on this side will be um, the RTMP, okay? So the first one that you're going to do will be this one. The first one, you copy the first one into this one. Then your stream key, you're going to copy it into here. Okay? Then you're going to press apply, and then after that, you'll be done. Then close this out, and you can start streaming. So um, after you start streaming, and then after that, you'll be good. You'll be good to go, and you can start streaming your video games and anything you want. I mainly stream Grotopia, but yeah. So, hope this video helped most of you out. If it did, leave a like, comment, and uh, subscribe, please. Um, other than that, guys, see you guys later. Bye. Boonerth, out.